Welcome to a proof of the alternate interior angles converse. This theorem states that if two lines are cut by a transversal and the alternate interior angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. So we want to be able to prove that if angle three is congruent to angle six or angle four is congruent to angle five, we have parallel lines. And the proof of this is going to be based upon the corresponding angles converse postulate which states that if two lines are cut by a transversal and the corresponding angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. So we're going to have to end up showing that the corresponding angles are congruent and therefore by this postulate the lines will be parallel. Let's take a look at our proof. We're given that transversal T cuts line L and M and we know that angle three is congruent to angle six. So this angle here is congruent to this angle here and those are alternate interior angles. So before we start, we want to devise a strategy so that we can get corresponding angles to be congruent and therefore the lines will be parallel. Notice that angle two and angle six are corresponding angles and angle two happens to be a vertical angle with angle three. So by using the definition of vertical angles, we can say that angle three and angle two are congruent and then that angle two is congruent to angle six and therefore the lines will be parallel. So let's go ahead and get started. Again, the first step is almost always to state the given information. So we know that line T cuts lines L and M with angle three and angle six being congruent. Again, our ultimate goal is to show that angle two and angle six are congruent. So the first thing I'm going to do is restate this congruence. I'm going to state that angle six is congruent to angle three and this is by the symmetric property. And the reason I'm changing the order here is because of the transitive property which we'll see in just a minute. So for number three, we're going to go ahead and state that angle three is congruent to angle two because vertical angles are congruent. We could also say by definition of vertical angles or something similar to that. Now you can probably see why I use a symmetric property in step two. If we have angle six congruent to angle three and angle three congruent to angle two, we can use a transitive property to state that angle six would be congruent to angle two. In order to apply the transitive property, we have to have these congruent angles linked, meaning angle six is congruent to angle three and angle three is congruent to angle two, so they connect. So again, the justification here is the transitive property. And if we know that angle six and angle two are congruent, these are corresponding angles and therefore the lines are parallel from the corresponding angles converse postulate. And this is one possible proof that if we have a transversal that cuts two lines and the alternate interior angles are congruent, the two lines would be parallel. I hope you found this helpful.